Hi, I'm Jen, and I almost died today. I burned myself cooking. Now, like any good 30-ish year old, I called my mom because, you know, she knows everything, and she gave birth to me and all that good stuff. And she told me, put egg whites on it. Egg whites? Really, Mom? I got off the phone, I hung up, and then I Googled it. And then I pondered it, and then I called her back, and I educated her. Okay, number one, I didn't actually burn my finger because I don't cook. But number two, the truth is, my mom was completely off base. That is not at all what you should do for a burn. Now, let me educate you. I Googled this. I know what's going on now. There's three different types of burns. You've probably heard about them. First degree, second degree, and third degree. Now, a first degree burn is when you burn the outer layer of your skin, the epidermis. We've all been there. It's pretty painful. Sunburns, that sort of a thing. Second degree is the epidermis and the dermis. So both layers of skin have been burned. Third degree, we burn through both layers of skin and all the way down to the muscle tissue. Now, believe it or not, there's actually doctors and medical health professionals that believe that there is a fourth degree burn. They believe once you burn through two layers of skin and your muscle tissue all the way down to the bone that we need to give that a label. Now, if you think about it, if you've burned all the way down to the bone, you're pretty much dead. So do we really even need to go as far as a fourth degree? Now, aside from the three types of burns, there's actually four things that need to be addressed when you burn. Number one, we have to stop the burning, cool the affected area. If it was something caustic, we want to remove that. We all do that. We do it with water, right? Second thing that needs to happen, we actually need to do some pain control. Hello, opiates, right? Pain control, of course. Number three, we need to prevent the infection. So, you know, whatever that takes. A little neosporin, however we do that. And number four, we want skin regeneration, burn units, things like that. Way bigger things than what an egg white can handle. Now, before we go any further on this, we must understand the makeup of an egg white. 90% water and 10% protein. That's it, my folks. Nothing magical in there. If you think about it, 90% water, why are we not just using water? But there's myths involved with the egg white theory, and it's all over the internet. I've read it. Egg whites and burns, all the different ways it can work. But here's the reality. The first myth is that it cools better than water. Do I have to keep repeating myself? I just told you it's 90% water. So why would you use egg whites versus some nice cool tap water? It prevents infection. Hello, salmonella. Do we really want to put egg whites on there with the potential of salmonella on an open wound? Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Number three, it helps with dehydration. I don't know how. Again, it's 90% water, and you're applying it to the outside of your body. It makes no sense. Number four, skin regeneration. Now, this is the big one. This is where people believe that egg whites have the leg up on just water. Now the idea is the proteins, which are usually albumin or globulin, they believe that those proteins inside the egg white will actually help with the skin regeneration. But that's a myth. Those proteins do not actually start weaving their little magical web around the area and the affected uh, skin until the scab's formed. Now think about it. If a scab is formed, are the proteins even going to get in to do that? Yeah, no, they're not. So all in all, all four myths, that's what we're dealing with here, people. Egg whites do no good for burns. So I called my mom, I let her know this, she cried a bit, and basically we came to the conclusion that egg whites do nothing for burns. A nice cool water, see a doc when needed, and move on with your life. And if you're going to incorporate eggs into your routine at all, stop and get an Egg McMuffin on the way home from the dock because that's the only way that they're gonna play a role in the healing of your burnt skin.